What's up, guys? What's up? So we've been sleeping in our van for five, five days now. Yeah, five nights. We just want to update you guys on that, how it's been going. <laughs> I'll do day one, you do day two, I'll do day three, you do day four. Man, we have to remember specific nights. Day one was super sketchy. It was just a little, I mean, you go from being protective area into like, now you're sleeping in the wild, basically. It was, <laughs> you're not in the wild, but it was a little scary. It was a rough night for me because we were on the side of the road, so the the van was slanted and I was up on <laughs> the top and like trying not to roll into Angel all night long so and every time a car passed by it shakes the van yeah especially on that road there's so many cars that just like speed by so all night we're like oh. <laughs> so don't park in a main road if you, if you can the second night was much better because we turned where we are facing our heads the first night we were sleeping on this end where the mattress actually like inclined so our heads like all night were like this <laughs> and so the next night we switched that so it made the night much better i was still rolling into him though but mm -hmm. i was I, it was just better that we weren't at an incline day three we figured hey it would be a little bit more adventurous so i'm like let's check out the beach so we searched online and they said it's impossible to find a spot to park your van um by the beach or whatnot so we're like oh well let's just check it out so we drive out here it was super easy to find parking so easy. so many parking available and no one cares where you sleep it took like no effort <laughs> seriously i just pulled in it was a little scary because you didn't know if someone would knock on the door and say hey you gotta go or you can't park here but we parked and it was totally fine day four <laughs> she's oh, still trying to move. day four I think both of us felt a lot more comfortable because we had slept here and knew that it was fine. So we came again and we're like, oh, we'll be good. And then we woke up and went and we actually did a workout on the beach. Mm -hmm. We threw our bed really quick together when we were on the way from Arizona to here to California. And so the bed has like, it's not perfect. And so on Staria's side, it was like falling in. I forgot about that. <laughs> so I would like oh make a gosh. loop. I was and like breaking like, the bed. <laughs> yeah, and so she like keeps, she was like, keeps complaining, not complaining, but like, my side's not nice. I want to try your side. <laughs> so we decided to switch roles. But the only thing is that on her side has all of the windows so you can like see out. Yeah, so all night he's like leaning over <laughs> me and looking and I'm like, calm down, like we're fine. Day five though was today or last night and it was so much easier. Like uh, I yeah. slept in peace. I only checked the windows like two times, three times maybe. Um, and it was super comfortable. We already have a spot. We calm, like it was chill. It was, it's honestly yeah. the dopest. It only took five days for us to fix out the kinks in our bed. And I still break it occasionally, but it's fixable, it's fine. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Tacos. Oh, except we have to assemble them ourselves. Mm hmm. Right here. The good, the great. Ooh. Oh. Okay, <laughs> let's go eat them. <laughs> Seis. 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 Seis.
Well, first off, I learned how to skate in just an hour. So you really did. I'm really impressed. I'm super that impressed. That skate longboard, longboard. Longboard, yeah, <laughs> longboard. That is easier than like skating. I'm super impressed with myself. I thought I was gonna take forever to get comfortable. She on seriously it. jumped on, and it took like not even a day. It took like a few hours, and she just learned just, just like that. Well, I was like, you know, I'm probably gonna fall, but like. I have a goal. I want to be able to dance on it. So there's these like longboarders who they like do turns and stuff. Like there's longboarders just going straight and they're the ones that are like turning. And so I'm like, I want to do that. So yeah, day six today. Um, the van is doing really good. We've been sleeping in it and traveling in it. We had some lady this morning say, <laughs> cute girl, cute man, cute van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man van rhymed perfectly. But it was super cool because like, I'm always an advocate for Jamal because I'm like, Jamal to me in my eyes is just pure beauty. But there's been some people that are like, oh, Jamal is ugly. Okay, and I'm look, like, <laughs> I'm starting to realize that I'm like lower class bougie. <laughs> and then we had to go, you know, take care of Mama Sanker and the dogs. Mama, Mama. And um, then we came out to Malibu, which is where we're at now. We're at Point Doom. Yeah, seriously. We uh, had dinner, lunch with a friend, um, mm -hmm. Alonzo, and it was dope. He paid for it. He was a really cool guy. And I was like, dude, I love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, came on out here. And this is the scene yeah. that we get. We were like going down the cliff and it's super sandy. So it was a little sketchy, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. This daka is like a hamak. In my country, we have pitch this pass on trees and hang it strong way. We have to lay down in it for hours, man. And then, then you have to make it easier for you to pitch it because you got a whole set up. So when you set it up, it's good for you for a long time. People do not know that, man. <laughs> <laughs> 